and gentlemen, today is the day that Von Miller finally defends his NFL championship inside the Elimination Chamber against five other very deserving NFL superstars. Not gonna tell you who, you're gonna have to watch and find out. And I also wanna let you guys know that I'm not gonna be playing this. This is 100% just me commentating. Anyway, before we hop into the chamber, we got a couple of quick plugs. So don't forget to use code Wyatt's World on G Fuel or Prize Picks, where you can save yourself a discount on any G Fuel products or match up to $100 of your first deposit. You can also use code Wyatt10 to save yourself a discount on any Waggle merch. Link is in the description. Anyway, enough plugging. Let's get into the NFL Elimination Chamber. Woo! Welcome to Wyatt's World, everybody. New intro music because it got copyrighted after three years. I don't know how to explain that, but yeah. Do 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 do. All right, guys, so I am about to start this match. I just want to let people know who don't know how a chamber works. It's basically a six-man cage match where two guys start it, and every, like, minute and a half or two minutes, someone else will enter, and it goes until there's one man left standing, and he will be the champion. So now, other than Von Miller, let's see who's in the match. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Elimination Chamber 2023. Who will be the first to enter the cage? Ooh, and it's none other than the champ himself! Von Biller! Look, man, I'm just saying it's only fair that the champion doesn't have to start the match. He should get some sort of advantage. Is that Adam Sandler in the crowd? Oh, he looks in tone, man. He looks ready. Yeah, Von, you gotta hand it over. I'm sorry. All right, who's entrant number two? Oh, shit. Oh, could it be? I thought this man was retired years ago, but it would appear not because Pete Carroll is back and he is hungry oh. <laughs> was he ever actually an nfl player though i don't know i think he was honestly not too bad of a build not too bad pete all right entrant number three who is it oh it's daniel jones he wanted this opportunity so bad i simply couldn't turn the man down he is ready Many people said this man could not win a championship, but many people also said he couldn't win a playoff game, and look where we are. Danny very, very hesitantly about to get in his cage. <laughs> oh, shit! And it's entrant number four, Stone Cold George Kittle! Look at him getting in Danny's face! <laughs> like Danny stands a chance. All right, who's starting the match off? Man, it is Micah Parsons! Are you kidding? He looks elite. Do not kid yourselves. That is exactly how he would look if he was a wrestler. Cowboy. This guy has a lot of I feel sincerely bad for whoever it is that has to start this match off against Micah Parsons because he looks like no man to fuck with. Tua! It is Tua Tagovailoa! <laughs> what do you mean? I legitimately do not think anybody's gonna beat him in this match. Like, he looks like a shit brick house. And he walks right into the cage like he owns it. Are we looking at the new tribal chief? We just might be. And we are off! Do it right away! Samoa Spike! What? Micah Parsons is down! One! Two! And he kicks out! Oh my god! What a chaotic start to this match! Is Tua going for another one? Micah reverses it with a punch of his own. Micah Parsons now with a suplex to the meat ball. Micah now going for an Irish whip. Tua lands on the outside of the ring and Micah now going to the top to taunt George Kittle. Tua with the lockup. Tua grabbing Micah, throwing him back in the ring. We have a fight, gentlemen. Micah with a huge clothesline. Oh, could it be already? An F5 to Tua. One, two, and he powers out. Another one. Wait, no, it's not an F5. It's a Kimura lock this time. He's trying to break his arm. Tua is fighting for his dear life to get out of this. Can he make it? He's still going, and Tua does. He pries out, only to pick up Micah Parsons like he's a sack of potatoes and throw him to the outside of the ring. Tell you what, the Samoan heritage, they just don't seem to give up, but Micah Parsons has another answer. That is simply not going to be enough. Tua is going to kick out at two, just like I predicted. Tua throwing Micah back into the ring. What is he thinking? And we got a tie up. Micah Parsons, again, going for what could be an F5, but instead just dumping Tua outside. These two are still going at it. It looks like Tua might be going to Suplex City on the outside, but that is the least of my concerns because entering the match right now is Daniel Jones. It's like Danny is running over to possibly make a save. Never mind. He is going to let Tua get pinned. 
And Tua is eliminated just like that. Are you kidding me? Oh, and Daniel Jones with an ankle lock on Micah Parsons right away. Micah, nowhere to go. There's no rope breaks. What is he going to do? This is power versus power here. Cowboys versus Giants. Division rivals, they hate each other. And Daniel Jones gets thrown around. Micah throwing Danny into the ring. Taunting the crowd. Micah picking Danny up. And again dumping him to the outside. What is it with this guy and tossing people around? Oh, Danny! Throwing Micah back into the ring. We got a little fight. Danny picking him up. Micah with the reversal. Right onto the neck. Uh-oh, looks like Danny's able to get some more offense in now. Micah quickly back up to his feet, but Daniel Jones not giving up and going for the knee. Micah looks shook. He looks rattled. Oh, a power bomb! Uh-oh, what's this? Daniel Jones! Looked like he was going for an F5, but it is reversed, and now we are on to entrant number four, who is none other than George Kittle. Oh, God, Micah Parsons with Danny back up, and he is once again, like every other time, gonna toss him to the outside. But this time, George Kittle has met Micah Parsons in the center of the ring, picking him up, and hitting a pile driver onto the knee. You know, it's kind of unfortunate Tua couldn't be here for this fun. He only lasted about four seconds. Kittle again on Micah Parsons, but Micah finding a reversal, throwing Kittle to the outside, and again, it's just Parsons in the ring. And Micah Parsons with an overcastle. Not sure what the hell that pin attempt was. George Kittle from the back, picking Parsons up. We're gonna get a power slam. And now Daniel Jones going for a clothesline on a man three times his size. I cannot tell you why it didn't work. Just kidding, I can because he doesn't stand a fucking chance. I say that as Daniel catches Kittle in the ankle lock. And Kittle breaks out of that in a fraction of a second. Oh no! Danny's up! It looks like he might be getting an F5! One, two, and he kicks out! We got Kittle intercepting Parsons, throwing him to the outside, turning his attention on Daniel Jones, Irish whipping him out of the ring. Except unlike Micah, Kittle is gonna pursue him outside of the ring instead of being a little bitch. And now we got Micah and Kittle on the outside battling it out, and entrant number five is on his way in the match. And it is none other than the champ himself, Von Biller! Danny again catching Kittle in an ankle lock. What is going on? Von Miller instantly picking up Micah for an F5. What is going on? Von going for the pin on Micah Parsons with his own move, and he scores it and eliminates him. I'll tell you what, win, lose, or draw, this isn't going to be the end of those two, but Von Miller picks up George Kittle for an F5, and that one is reversed. Oh! <laughs> Wait, what? Danny with a gut wrench. Kittle with a stutter! And for some reason, the pin is broken up. That was an elimination. Now Micah, not Micah Vaughn going for an F5. What is going on? George Kittle, one, two. No, and he kicks out. This is too much, ladies and gentlemen. This is simply too much. Von Miller with a huge slam. Kittle now working on Von Miller, throwing him to the outside of the ring. And you know something that hasn't even dawned on me yet? Pete Carroll still has yet to enter the match. Kittle doing a number on Danny and giving him the bird, the ultimate sign of disrespect. And Von Miller comes behind him with the clothesline. Danny, again, for the third time, has George Kittle locked in the ankle lock. But let's go immediately. I'm not sure what that was all about. These AI are acting like they don't know what they're doing. However, Danny hits a beautiful belly-to-belly -belly suplex on Von Miller. Again picks up Von and hits him with the strongest slam. Daniel Jones is in complete and total control. And Daniel Jones is now looking to put Von Miller in the ankle lock. Somebody needs to take this guy out. Please, Von, get out of this. And he does. Stunner! One, two... Three, and Daniel Jones is gone just in time for Pete Carroll to enter. Oh, George Kittle now picking Pete Carroll up and kneeing him in the gut. Stutter! No, Vaughn! One, two, yes, and he kicks out! Vaughn Miller now to Pete Carroll. Suplex, that was disgusting. Pete Carroll, Irish whipping Kittle against the ropes out of the ring. No! And I had about to Von Miller busting him open. Von, you have got to get out of this. Pete Carroll body slamming Von Miller going against the ropes. The leg drop. Oh, dear God, don't tell me. One, two, three. Pete Carroll has eliminated Von Miller. Kittle now picking up Pistol Pete with a huge scoop slam. Boy, I'm going to be honest. I just don't see a scenario in which Pete Carroll pulls this one off. And Kittle with a knee to the back of Pete's head. Someone call this. Kittle now pulling this fight back into the ring. Egging on Pete to get up. This is disgusting. And Pete catches the punch. Fires back one of his own. Hits him in the face. 
and Kill powers him down. No! Stutter, it's reversed by Pete! Pete with the punch! Come on, Pete! Come on, Pete! Suplex! Oh, and he throws him down! A knee to the face, he's gonna do it! There it is! The body slam! <laughs> the leg drop! One, two, and George Kittle kicks out at two and a half. Unreal. The entire world is going for Pete Carroll right now, who hits another body slam! Into another leg drop, this has to be it! Count it, ref! One, two, three! Pete Carroll wins the belt! Oh my fuck! I don't have a voice, I'm sweating. That took so much effort to commentate. I pray that it doesn't come out like shit. But this is not a joke. Pete Carroll is your world heavyweight champion of the NFL. All right, guys, that is going to be all for today's video, though. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do to show support, and I appreciate it. With everything I just said, though, I'm going to get this edited so you guys can watch it on time and then put myself on vocal rest, so hopefully I can continue to make videos tomorrow because I'm already getting raspy. <laughs> Have a great Wednesday, guys. I will see you in the next video.